Hello friends, my name is Katie from Eternal Flame and today I thought I'd do a very quick flip through of my second week in my Hobonichi planner for December of 2022. If you're interested in seeing that, please stick around. Alright, let's get right into it. So the last time I filmed a video within my Hobonichi or a flip through within my Hobonichi cousin, um, I left off on the day on Sunday, December 5th, when I went on a shopping um, I guess spree with my mom at Daiso for planner supplies. So today we're going to jump into that following Monday. Um, as you can see, I'm still struggling with how to utilize this left, I guess, column here, this left section here where they break down the hours of the day. Uh, I tried to also that Monday, I believe I went to work. Um, so that's why I have the little car there and I have a cup of coffee in the morning <laughs> to note that. Um, but because of that, I think I didn't really have much time to journal for that day so you can see there's just a lot of empty space not a lot of journaling some very large stickers to occupy the space i actually didn't go grocery shopping this was supposed to denote the days i went grocery shopping so as you can see here i migrated that task and i actually never made it to the grocery store that's very 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 embarrassing um but for me um so i think i've mentioned this before um i'm not sure if you've seen the video but I had originally started trying to track my meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner um, in my Hobonichi weeks, but it turned out that there wasn't enough space for me to include all the details that I wanted to. So from now on, I will be tracking those meals um, in my Hobonichi cousin. And so as you can see here, I'm gonna put a pitch in for my 2022 um, cute themed advent calendar from the Sticky Club. If you haven't seen my video on that and like the, I guess I show the first eight days of the advent calendar, I'm going to leave that in the cards section up above. Um, but basically this was day one of the cutes advent calendar. I have both the cute theme and the pop theme this year and um, I thought this my trip to Chick-fil-A was a great opportunity for me to use this sticker. I know this is a burger. Um, it kind of looks like a hamburger <laughs> so maybe not quite a chicken sandwich but i thought it was just too cute to pass up the opportunity um, but basically i tried to use it as encouragement my task list for this year is really just um or i guess the end of the year everything seems to just be hitting me all at once i think between christmas shopping hosting holiday uh, family dinners as well as preparing for school and uh, my husband picking up a second job and all, all of these things happening at once, it's been a little bit overwhelming. So you'll kind of see in this week, I try to inspire myself and motivate myself to not only uh, be more productive and get things done, but um, just, just keep chugging ahead. So <laughs> that was the theme of this day. Another theme that you will probably notice as I go through, especially with Christmas shopping at the forefront of my uh, to-do list or at the, the top of my to-do list is shopping therapy. So not only am I very stressed and I like to shop as a way to relieve some of that stress, but um, also I need to shop for Christmas. So that is a theme this week as well. Um, but basically here, you know, I'm just using, trying to figure out a way to utilize this space because I do have... I do work from 8 to 4.30, 5 o'clock. I usually work past um, my eight hour day. So it makes it difficult to actually put any information here that's related to my personal life. Um, so I've just been using my little stamps. I'm ex um, experimenting with stamping in my Hobonichi planners. And as you can see, there's barely any even ghosting. I don't, I don't actually even know where the, the little bear is. Oh, he's over here. <laughs> there's barely any ghosting and um, there's definitely no bleed. So I'm really happy about that. I converted this section down here um, below the meal tracking um, into, I just used some of my sticky stickers, sorry, uh, from the Dear Lizzie sticker book that I have um, just to, I guess, um, mark a section on the bottom left for things I needed to buy if I ever made it to the grocery store, <laughs> which I didn't. Um, my husband just went this morning by himself and picked up some of the, I guess, essentials, which is kind of funny because if you look at it, it's biscuits, ice cream, chips, and cold brew, which um, isn't very healthy. <laughs> um, and then over here, once again, I just have like a task list up top for my priorities, um, the top priorities. And then also, this is just talking about how, I guess, more motivation and reminding myself that it's okay to take some time to celebrate, but tomorrow we need to move into being productive again. 
this page here on Wednesday, um, I journaled about one of my favorite, all-time favorite songs. Uh, it, this is, please don't judge me, but my favorite song is Where Is The Love by the Black Eyed Peas. It's so old, um, but it's a song that I will never get tired of. And sometimes I just need need to hear it and for like a motivational thing you know sometimes I get discouraged uh, in in these crazy times and uh where's the love that song is just like a reminder that these problems existed so many years ago when the song came out they still exist uh but to pray and hope and stay positive for change to, to come so that's what this page is about <laughs> um and then on every page, it's just Christmas shopping. Katie, just get your Christmas shopping done. Um, okay, so going into Thursday and Friday, I just used a lot of the same stickers from the Dear Lizzie sticker book, but also um, some leftover holiday stickers uh, from my Happy Planner sticker book. Uh, really love that. That's where these came from, just to remind me to, you know, decorate for the holidays and also do my Christmas shopping. Um, once again, I... So this is actually the first day I did it. I realized that because I'm not using this section here, I had seen in other videos, it made so much sense. You could just write over um, these numbers. So if you can see over here on the left on Thursday, I had previously written it to the right, um, but I actually really like the idea of just covering it up here because I think it, it you really don't get distracted by the numbers behind it. Um, see so I'm also I've been experimenting with these um, paper source planner stamps which is what this fork and knife is as you can see I didn't do a very good job uh, with the stamp and then also up here too this is where that stamp came from I actually forgot it on Friday um, but that's usually how I start off my spreads and I'm really liking this um, planner stamp collection from paper source it was $20 for this one and I bought two because I also bought um, I guess letters that I can click together and stamp words um, but yeah I'm just using some of my DIY stickers to mark date nights and then just journaling about staying positive and over here just be me <laughs> and so was it yesterday no it was Friday um, I came I sat down and took a minute to kind of reorganize and plan my planner system for 2022 so that's what I have here and just to quickly go over what I plan to do, which may change, it probably will change. Um, it already has in just a couple of weeks. Um, so if you haven't seen my previous videos, I actually just, I started off the year, which hasn't even started yet, but I started off the year with a Hobonichi Weeks and a Hobonichi Cousin because I couldn't pick between the two different sizes. Um, I fell in love with the paper and just the functionality of each planner. Uh, so much so that I actually saw this blossom cover and had to, had I, I thought I had to get the A6 size. So I actually invested in a third planner for 2022 and it's the A6 English version um, here, as you can see. So I actually haven't even inserted it in the cover yet. I'm waiting for the cover and cover to come in and some accessories before I, I guess, share with you guys a video of how I'm going to set this planner up. But before I did that, I needed to change what I had planned to use my different planners for. So this is what it, it kind of goes into that level of detail. And so basically the Hobonichi Weeks is going to still continue to keep track of my major appointments, um, the daily and weekly priorities um, and or priority tasks, the weather, my habits, my weekly habits and motivation, um, what really hasn't been working that well for me. I'm going to see if I can, I have, well, okay. I haven't really been working well, I guess, is keeping up with my monthly habit tracker that I included down below, um, on the monthly spread of the Hobonichi weeks, but that's really just me not being disciplined enough. I think to reference, um, this page every day, uh, and, and then updating it at the end of the day. So I probably will have to figure out what to do about that or if I even need it. Um, and then also a brain dump for important lists. And I think it's so funny as, as you're reading this before filming the video that um, the only thing and top thing listed are my YouTube videos because, you know, <laughs> that's the most important thing. Um, no. And then so the A5 cousin has kind of 
my idea of what it should be and what it could be has evolved. Initially, I wanted to use the A5 Cousin because it was a larger size. I didn't realize the size difference until I had them in my hand. Uh, you know, you look at the dimensions, but you just really don't know until you have them all together. So I'm really excited to have all three this year. Um, but originally, I wanted to use it for school. I'm going back to grad school in January. So I thought this was a great opportunity opportunity for me to use it for notes and like assignments. However, because it's larger um, and it's starting to bulk up with all the journaling that I've been doing and all the stickers that I've been adding, adding I'm not sure how practical that'll be um, for bringing it to class and then taking it out and actually taking hard notes in here. So what I ha have... I guess evolved that vision to be is to be a main brain dump space which is exactly what you see in all of these previous weeks where I just came up with like my shopping lists um, things that I talk to my husband about and friends or the days that I run into friends my gift list um, just li literally anything and everything that happens to me in a day hopefully somehow makes it to these daily sheets um, and it just becomes my brain dump space so that's, I, I kind of like that. I love how large the pages are so that I can include these larger stickers, that I can include that journaling, the meal planning, um, my priority to-do lists and things like that. Um, also, like I said, journaling, um, maybe a reading diary as I start reading more, hopefully <laughs> as one of my goals for the year. And then also as a creative space, which I haven't started to use it as yet. Um, in the sense, I have been, I guess, practicing my handwriting and calligraphy, which is great, but I'd also eventually like to move into sketching, um, you know, playing around with stamps, which I already have started to do, or being able to use my, um, hand, like, my self-designed print and cut stickers, for example, like this little shopping bag and things. That's already started, but lastly, for the um, A5 Cousin, I would like to start experimenting with watercolors. Um, if you guys, I guess, have any tips and tricks or suggestions for videos that I should reference before I start, I'm actually really afraid to um, put my brush to my book. Initially, I was going to do it in the A6, but because the A6 is like brand new, super tiny, um, for many reasons, I decided that maybe this this is the space to do it, um, but I, I'm so scared because I just do not want to mess up the book. And I know that it adds a texture to um, the planner and I think I'm ready for it because I, I, as you can see, and for those of you who have Hobonichi planners, know that, you know, while using it, it does change and um, evolve, but in a beautiful way, you know, it adds, I think, um, adds to the experience of a Hobonichi planner. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan for the A5 Cousin. And then for the A6 English, I'm hoping to stick to this. I don't know that I will, but I'm fingers crossed. Um, it's so beautiful. I almost feel like it's a waste, but maybe I'll find a way to minimally. I keep saying minimalist because I'm going for a minimalist approach, but as you can see, uh, not very minimalist, <laughs> um, but very minimally decorate and focus the A6 um, English version to meet my needs for school. And um, that that is why I'm waiting for the cover on cover to come in because it's this beautiful embroidered fabric cover in this light blue and beige yellow um, pattern that I don't wanna mess up, especially on the go. So I'm like, and, and then also with the fountain pen and stamping inks, sorry. Um, you know, sometimes you get it all over your hands and I just, I, or the desk and I don't wanna get it on that beautiful cover. Um, so that's the plan. That's what I planned out on Friday. And then yesterday, I have been, it's been on my to-do list to, I guess, translate the electronic task list, list that I was provided from school uh, to paper, which I finally did. Um, as you can see, it's pretty lengthy, and I don't think that this is the only task list that I have to work on. I think there are other things that I have to work on. Um, but I'm going to focus on the one that they told me to prioritize first and um, starting today. Uh, starting, as you can see, none of it is checked off. Um, so my goal for this weekend was to just really start knocking things off. And if you see some of my, um, 
I guess, oh, I haven't filmed it yet. I, I'm planning to do a plan with me to show you how I go through the process of setting up, for example, this is going to be um, Sunday. And as you can see, this is for 2022. That's why I've been putting my own stickers on top to change the day of the week. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in seeing that, uh, you know, give this video a thumbs up subscribe hit the little bell so you're notified when that video comes out i really appreciate that um, you taking the time to watch this video and until next time bye everyone